Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making lamb stew. Lamb is an expensive meat in my hometown. My family will only make it when there is a big event. My dad makes a delicious lamb stew. <laughs> it falls off the bones and it melts in your mouth immediately. Can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> First, you will need some lamb meat. This is a whole lamb leg, about four and a half pounds. I'm only using half of it. Cut the lamb into big chunks. They will shrink the size after cooking. It is best to use skin on lamb leg because the skin has lots of gelatin which makes the sauce extra glossy and it will also give the dish more flavor. But I can only find a skinless leg around where I live. It will also work. Wash it under running water. It has lots of bone dust and dirty impurities. Ecuadorian lamb is the mildest lamb that I have ever had. It doesn't have that powerful smell that most people cannot bear. Soak the lamb in clean water for at least 3 hours or overnight would be better. This helps weakening the strong mutton scent. You can also throw in some ginger, scallion, cinnamon stick, and citron peppercorn. Since my lamb is mild, Plain water will work just fine. The liquid turned into a red color and the meat lost the fresh blood color. That is exactly what I want. People live in northwest of China love that wild gamey mutton taste. They will be upset if they see me soaking the meat in the water. As a person growing up in the south of China, I preferred a mild taste. Discard this whole batch of water, drain it completely, dry it with a paper towel. We'll brown the lamb later. If the meat is not dry, you will get oil splashed on you badly. Add 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We're using it to coat the lamb. This helps creating a starchy shell on the surface of the meat and it will fall off after a long time simmering, which will make the sauce extra creamy like a gravy. If you are using skin on lamb, you don't need to do this because the gelatin in the skin will thicken the sauce. We just want a thin layer of coating. Don't make it too doughy. Heat up your wok and add some oil. Give it a toss so the oil covers the bottom. Add your lamb in. If your meat is fatty, you don't need to add that much oil. The lamb fat itself will sear the meat which gives the stew extra flavor. But my lamb is quite lean, that is why I need quite a lot of oil to do the job. Searing also helps to lock the moisture inside the meat so it comes out tender and juicy. Once you think you browned enough surfaces, you can take the meat out. If you got some grease left in the wok, you can just use that. If not, add a little more oil. Keep the heat at medium low. Throw in some crushed garlic cloves, five slices of ginger, two pieces of scallion nut, half of a medium sized onion that I sliced, one star anise, two pieces of bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, and half tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Stir until fragrant, then push all the aromatics to the side. We're going to caramelize some sugar. Stir on low heat until the sugar turns into a red caramel color. Keep adding one and a half tablespoon of tomato paste. 3 tablespoons of Chinese soybean paste. This is what I'm using. If you don't have it, you can use any of these two replacements. Just the same amount. Zhu Hou sauce. It's a classic Cantonese sauce, great for beef and lamb stew. Sichuan Dou Ban Jiang. I'm assuming most of you already know this sauce because I use it quite often. 
it is a little bit spicy, just be aware with that when using it. Keep adding one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce, stir to combine all the sauce together, then mix in the aromatics. Look at that, so glossy, thick and flavorful. Introduce the lamb back into the wok, stir until the seasonings coats the meat. It is already smelling good and looking amazing. <laughs> you can add water to it and simmer the lamb in the same wok, make it in one pot recipe. I like to transfer it into a Dutch oven and fill it up with hot water. Don't forget to rinse the wok that has lots of flavors, we don't want to waste that. Move the ingredients around so they are under the water. Oh, one more optional ingredient, a drizzle of dark soy sauce. It is for color. Cover the lid and bring it to a boil. Turn the heat to low, keep it at a slight simmer, let it cook for 2-3 to three hours. After a long time cooking, all the flavor in the aromatics is transferred into the soup. Pick them out. We will thicken the broth later. It will be annoying to eat if you leave the soggy veggies in there. Add some carrot. We're gonna reduce the broth to half. Just turn the heat to high and let it cook without the lid. I got pretty much liquid in the pot, so it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to evaporate, which is just enough time to cook the carrot until tender. If you don't have that much liquid, you might need to cover the lid and make sure your carrots are nice and soft. It looks kind of like curry now. <laughs> Before serving, you always want to give it a taste and see if you need to adjust something like salt or sugar, whatever fits your taste. Look at that. I just love that thick, creamy sauce. Really tempting. Top a little bit cilantro to make the color pop. You can see some of the bones are already falling off like this one. And you can easily take the meat off the bone. That is how tender it is. <laughs> this is great for some white rice or you can use it as noodle toppings. The meat is melted in your mouth. The sauce is slightly sweet and savory. The whole dish also got lots of fragrance from all the aromatics. This flavor brings me back home. <laughs> Whenever my dad makes it, it does not last long on the table. <laughs> it's just so good by itself. With a little bit plain rice, everybody is satisfied. <laughs> I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment, let me know how it goes. As always, the recipe will be in the description down below the video. And don't forget to take a look off my channel. I'm sure you'll find out how to cook your favorite Chinese food. New videos come out every Wednesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye!